Ubisoft has decided that they're now going to do an online direct style presentation, and they decided to name it Ubisoft Forward, which uh, is a stupid name in my opinion. It sounds like they just forgot to name it, and so they just decided to stick an intern on it and told me at five minutes. So he just like came up with the word forward. It was like the first thing that popped into his head, and the whole company went with it. Regardless of the name, Ubisoft have a lot to go over here. They've already vowed to bore people to death by starting an hour early to show upcoming stuff for a bunch of older games, and somehow Just Dance 2020 got on the list. I don't know what the fuck their plan is there, but if it's not the Han Solo dance, I'm never buying the deluxe edition of Just Dance ever again. Now, they also say they actually have announcements, which would be very nice. Uh, out of the three promised games that they said they would be bringing, uh, hopefully they show Assassin's Creed first. That shit sucks. Uh, it's boring. And every single time, it's this huge shell of promise with nothing inside. Uh, it'll always look beautiful, but then you'll just have to do some trailing missions and then kill some guy and then do it all over again. It's just repetitive and boring, in my opinion. Uh... Now, Hyperscape, they've also promised to bring. Hyperscape is kind of interesting because they stealth dropped it, but only to streamers, and they're kind of doing the Valorant thing to try to build up hype. The difference that the, is that this game is like a tenth of how good Valorant is, so I don't think that's really going to work for them. This game is going to fade into obscurity quick, but I'm mildly interested in it. Again, though, I've already seen people play the game, so it doesn't seem like it would be that interesting. They've also promised to bring Watch Dogs Legion. This is the only game that they promised to bring that I give a shit about. Um, this game looked amazing at E3 uh, and in the E3 trailers. The concept of being able to play as anybody you see is awesome. And if they can really find a way to make every single character unique in some way and there to be a reason to play every single character, then I'll buy it. But it's Ubisoft. I bet that some of them will just be reskins with the same abilities and stuff. And that's that's going to suck a little bit. But at the end of the day, even if that's the case, it could still be cool. I just don't want it to come out and be devoid of content and life and have everybody have very similar abilities. They also say that they have some surprises to reveal. And I really hope that doesn't just mean uh, Just Dance 2021. Because the Han Solo DLC is already going to be in Just Dance 2020. So that's kind of going to be valueless. Uh, nice try, Ubisoft. I kind of doubt that they'll show Beyond Good and Evil 2, even though that's kind of back in the sphere. They're kind of pretending like it doesn't exist again, which is something that they love to do. I'm not really interested in it, honestly, but it seems cool, and it seems like there's people that are interested in it. So it'd be kind of, like, just get a release date, maybe, um, if it's ever going to come out. Or if you're just going to keep pretending like it exists, but, hey, you know, if you haven't actually started development, maybe don't say anything, but maybe they shouldn't have ever said anything in the first place. I think they've announced it twice now, and it's been way too early on both times, making it seem like it's just never going to come out. A game that I'm much, much more interested in is Rainbow Six Quarantine, which they announced at last E3, said it was coming out 2020, and never announced anything since then. Which really sucks, because I've, I've been looking forward to that game. Uh, it looked kind of cool from the trailer, but you guys know I play Siege a lot, which is, it's building off with the same characters this game, or at least it seems like it will. Ella was in the trailer and everything. Um, but I would really love to kind of get some of the story behind that, kind of go inside with the characters. Very rarely you get a glimpse at them, but when you do, it's cool. And like those trailers that they put on YouTube and stuff, the really cinematic ones, it, it's so awesome to kind of just see them react to each other. Uh, they've built a really good cast of characters almost unintentionally. Um, when making the operators, so I'd really love to see what they'll be able to do. Hopefully, it like stealth drops or something. I know that's uh, going a little bit far, but I think at least it'll hopefully be able to come out by the end of 2020. But again, I'm not sure about that. They'll also probably have to change the name. It's a little bit of an unfortunate name. That's probably why we haven't seen any of it yet, if I had to guess. Uh, so I would not expect it to come out as Rainbow Six Quarantine. If it's far enough along in development, I'd also like to see a little something maybe from Far Cry 6. I know they're working on it. Far Cry 5 was way too big for them to consider not making a sequel here. Um, I, I just really hope that we can get at least an announcement. Again, only if it's far enough in development. I don't want this game to be three years away and they say something about it because then God only knows what's going to happen. Um, but... If they're kind of close, which I feel like they kind of must be. I feel like a B team probably worked on Far Cry New Dawn, uh, and the A team has been working almost since Far Cry release. So we'll say they started two years ago now. 
that's probably enough to get the cycle, uh, get it, the new game cycled in. Uh, but we'll see. It's also jumping in next gen, so maybe they're waiting until next gen's been out for like a year or something. Then they'll try to release it in there. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, now, one other surprise would be if they announced Just Dance 2022. Uh, but they'd have to make it have the Han Solo DLC, otherwise nobody would buy it. See ya.